Hey everybody, it's Missy. Welcome back. I have another layout today for the Precious Remembrance Shop. And this is an online store that specializes in some really awesome stamps. And Diane from over there contacted me and asked me if I would like to make a few projects using some of their newest releases. And of course I said, heck yes, please send me these stamps. And uh, the one that was there first was the date stamp set. Lots of days, dates, numbers, months. This one's the totally stamp set. You can see there's some words and some shapes. This one's my favorite, the Happy Art stamp set. I love that scribble. The scribble is so me and it's just so artsy and messy and it's perfect. This one has some sentiments on it. I love the sayings. I love the circles and that messy, almost looks like a coffee stain. So these are an awesome grouping of stamps and I cannot wait to show you what I made. This is my first project. I'm gonna have two more coming up. And I had to start right away with that scribbly design. Uh, it's just jumped out at me right away. Uh, I love to make messy, artsy pages. You guys know me. And I had to uh, scrap some pictures of my youngest child. And uh, she specializes in making goofy faces and getting her hair all wild and messy and tangly. And she loves it. And so, that stamp is perfect for these pictures. So I'm going to use the Amy Tangerine on a Whim collection, and this is the 6x6 six six paper pad. And my first thought was, I'm going to just start with a white background, and I want lots of bright color, and I'm going to use black ink to stamp the stamps. And so uh, I thought black and white pictures would go well. And what I'm going to do is just hand draw some letters on these bright papers, and it's going to spell her name, Paige. And my title is going to be Paige's World. And then over there, if you look at the stamp set, the little piece that says, It's Messy and I Love It. That's going to be sort of my little subtitle. Because when I think of her, I think of messes and wild and crazy just all over the place. And that's just her personality. And so I thought I would create a page that sort of fits her. So I'm just going through the papers and just choosing different colors to create the letters. And there we go. And I cut world on my cameo. I wanted to mix and match the fonts since pages is this, you know, messy kind of wonky crooked block lettering. I wanted the other part of the title to be scripty. And so that's a, um, a font called Shoreline. And I got that at defont.com, I think, and it was free. So I'm going to tra trace around where the pictures are going to go so I know where to stamp. And I'm just going to take some black archival ink and start to stamp that messy scribble all around it. Because I want it to look like it's coming out from behind the picture strip. And look how cool that looks. I love this stamp. I think I'm going to have to be using this one quite a lot. And so this is not going to be a nice neat layout because I wanted to convey the idea of chaos and messes and just bouncing all over the place, which is what Paige does. Okay, so that's kind of the basis. I'm gonna have the pictures right there in the middle and look at that, super cool. Looks like I just took a pen and scribbled all over the place. I love that. So I'm gonna start with adding a little bit of tissue paper behind my pictures. Um, a lot of times when I start on just white cardstock and I don't really have a lot of things from a collection picked out, it's kind of hard to decide what to use. So now that I know the colors in the papers that I'm using with the letters that I cut, I kind of know what direction I want to go and I know what colors I want to use on my background. And so these are some of my shimmers and I'm just going to pull from the colors that I cut in the letters. So I've got pinks, my typical favorite colors, pinks, aquas, a little bit of a golden yellow and some different shades of blue. And I didn't use any gesso here. Uh, my original plan was I knew I was going to use use mixed media, or not necessarily mixed media, but spray inks. And uh, but I didn't want to saturate the paper. I didn't want to go too thick with the water, and so um, I didn't prep the paper. Plus, I didn't want it to interfere with the stamping because I don't think the stamps would work super great over gesso. 
And so I just kept the paper clean. And I'm just doing what I usually do here, spray the ink right onto the plastic packaging and then flip it over and smush it down. It gives such a great watercolor splotchy look and I love the edges. It just looks kind of messy. And it's, it's difficult to get that same exact look with a brush. Now, uh, that's an orangey yellow color. It matches the color in the papers that I've got going. So I'm going to add a little bit of foam. This is just kids fun foam in the craft section. It's the perfect height for adding dimension behind pictures or embellishments. And I'm going to kind of make her name kind of crooked. It's going to kind of go underneath the pictures there. And I debated back and forth about whether to change the, the paper for the word world. I didn't know if blue was the best. Kind of blended in, didn't really pop as much. But I'm going to leave it for now. Now this is the clear sticker pack from the Amy Tangerine collection. And I love this big black and clear do your thing sticker because trust me, Paige does her thing. And uh, yeah, whether you tell her not to or not, she's going to do it. And so that was perfect for her. Now I decided to use this brush stroke. This is a stamp pad. I believe that's Heidi Swap. And uh, I wanted to bring some of that orangey golden yellowish color down to the bottom and that brush stroke I believe is from the happy art no the totally stamp set so I'm going to glue all the letters down and then I'm going to come back in with a stamp here this is one I said I was going to use in the beginning it's messy and I love it and it's going to go at the top, but before, I, I'm not just going to stamp it down. I'm, I'm going to stamp it on some scrap cardstock first and then fussy cut it out because I wanted the title to kind of go more horizontally instead of vertically. And uh, you could also cut the stamp, but I didn't want to do that. Um, I've seen people do that before and you're still stamping it. It's not, it's not changing the stamp. It's just you're able to stamp the words or the letters individually instead of just one big sentence. So there I've got them all cut out, and I'm going to play with that here in just a minute to make it straight how I want it, but I love how that looks. It looks like I drew it with a marker, but uh, I didn't. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and add some thread. I've got some pink, and then I'm going to add some blue. Well, nope, that's not blue. That's yellow. And this is just subtle because of all the scribbles already going on in the background. This is just going to add a little bit of color, and you can tell more in person. Um, just a subtle little color blob, I guess you could say. Now, I decide, or I'm trying to decide where I want to put the word world. Do I want it centered? Do I want it over to the right? So I, I take forever to glue that down, but I know my pictures are staying there, so I'm going to get those glued down, make sure they're straight, and I keep bumping it, and I wanted to make sure they didn't go crooked. In all the crookedness in the background, I want to make sure the page, or the pictures are straight as can be. I'm so weird. So to make pages pop a little more, I trace it with a black pen. And I felt like that was okay because there's a lot of black going on in the layout. And uh, I want this, like I said, to be kind of... Uh, I want things to pop since there's a lot of black going on. But I also want it to... Um, you know, I don't want it to take away from the pictures but I still want it to look kind of graphic and messy as far as the, the black goes. And so I felt like tracing the letters made it stand out a little bit more. Now I found this uh, die cut, Boss Babe, in the Amy Tangerine die cut pack. I was like, I have to use that because the S in pages is that orangey red color. And so that's, that circle is the same color. And so it kind of brings some of that color down. And she's the total boss of our house. She's a little pint size bully is what she is. Well, not necessarily bully, but she tries to bully her big sister, and she's like three quarters the size of her. She's eight, but she looks five. Yeah. <laughs> she's definitely a boss. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to add a couple more die cuts. The yellow heart up at the top, and then this white circle with the green edge around it, a little blue heart. All these little bits and pieces. There's so many random things in this collection, and I like that, and... This layout kind of, I just kind of added things 
according to color and just what I thought looked good somewhere. I'm going to add another stamp. This is from the Happy Art stamp, and it's that splatter. I love how that looks. It's like the perfect ink splatter. So I'm going to add a couple of those around the page because I always like to add black splatters, especially when I have black photos. And these are going to be my two little journaling spots. And so I guess I kind of have a little diagonal thing going on here from top to bottom. I decide to go ahead and add some black splatters and then I then I stop because I wasn't sure if I was going to do any mach machine stitching and it seems like every time I machine stitch over black ink it smudges even when it's dry so I stopped and I'm going to come back later but then why am I adding pink maybe that's not what I was thinking at the time who knows maybe I'm not worried about machine stitching hmm that's what I thought. Oh, I did do machine stitching. Will you look at that? I did some some crazy crooked stitching, the top and the bottom, and then I went around the edges with the black, and I think that really sets the whole layout off. I love that black edge and uh, the zigzag back and forth, or not zigzag, but straight back and forth on the journaling spots. So I add my little bit of journaling in about my crazy child, and uh, I did do some zigzag stitching under Do Your Thing, and that's with pink thread. So now I'm going to add this little piece from the Totally stamp set. It says LOL slash haha slash really. I thought that was perfect. And then I'm going to add these three little hearts. And that is from the Happy Art stamp set. I used way more stamps on this layout than I thought I would in the beginning. I originally thought I was just going to use the scribbles. But the more I looked at the stamps, they just got more and more awesome. And so it just I just kept going for them. I am going to add this little flare button, and that's from a flare for buttons. And um, it's a little emoji blowing a heart kiss. And so I just thought that was cute. And it's that same yellowish golden color. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue thread under that just for a pop of blue in that area. And I'm going to overlap it right on top of that picture there. Now I'm going to add more black ink. There we go. I am going to use the date stamp set. And you can see they've got all the months, the days of the week, a place to actually put them. They've got numbers. It's perfect. So I'm going to use a little piece at the bottom of the stamp set that says on this day. And then I'm just going to stamp the date. And this was actually, these pictures were actually taken on... Christmas Eve, but I made them black and white, and I'm not focusing about Christmas. I'm focusing just about her little crazy self, and that's going to finish it up. There is the final layout. I think this is perfect for her. It's messy. It's wild and crazy and chaotic, and that's what I love to do. So I hope you like how this turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Now, I'm going to have the link down below to all these stamp sets and the link to the Precious Remembrance Shop. Be on the lookout. I'm going to have two more projects coming up with these stamps. I'm going to try and do something totally different, and we'll see what happens. Um, thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions about any of the techniques or the stamps or anything, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you, and have a great week.